because I believe that your relationship with your art and every who's not an artist here? Is there anyone here who's not an artist of some sort? No, because what the fuck would you do? <laughs> So, uh, so I believe that your relationship with your art is like any other intimate, intimate relationship you have. I think it's very complex. I think you have a lot of feelings about it. I don't think you always know what those feelings are. And the, what I want to talk about tonight is that relationship with the goal of if you can further the relationship emotionally that you have with your work. You can. It will allow you to do work that is more satisfying. Don't like to use the word better because it's not better or worse. It's work that you feel more connected to. And uh, all right. So I think we should get started. We need a patient. Who wants to come up and approve their work? <laughs> What's your name? Ryan. 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 Okay. Lie down. <laughs> this is your work, Ryan, right? And behind you, behind us here. <laughs> oh, by the way, since I don't have any formal training, you guys are welcome to yell out too. <laughs> We're at a sporting event. This is really interesting. I wonder if there's so much narcissism in your narcissism that you're having a hard time really understanding what it is and how to get out of yourself with your work, right? You, you can't even like take the first step. No, uh, mom. Talk to Jill and Pope because, okay, that's what I'm going to tell you. Talk. No, I commit so heavily to it that I forget everything else. So you mean you ignore everything because of your art? You're blaming your art. You are blaming <laughs> your art for your uh, problems with your personal relationships. I want to be more disciplined. So you're like, people call you, in, in, like, and, I, and I apologize for this, but people call you like Space Cadet, shit like that. My dad called me Space Cadet when I was born, and he oh. stopped because he felt guilty. Oh, <laughs> man. Wow. Okay, you know what? Forget about the art. Um, you Forget gotta about work, the art? You've got to work out your relationship with your dad. <laughs> closer relationship with it. Yeah, could be. Yeah. So um, you're either avoiding it because you're afraid of it or and or you're just super busy. So what do you think it is? Oh, I'm, I'm, all I'm doing is I'm sitting in front of the computer and working on my portfolio and trying to guy who promised me for one year that he would do my website, getting him to do it. Um, Are you paying him? No. It's hard to get people to do it. <laughs> Money. Money, I don't talk about Oh, and you get paid to do that, right? Yeah. Well, that's impressive. <laughs> so you actually have something that you're doing that is actually probably pretty satisfying for a work, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, so you need to make a schedule because you're getting it like enough drips and drabs from your um, from your photography, but you're not really satisfied. No. Now, you're doing what we all do, which is like number one no no, comparing ourselves to other people. That's always gonna, that's always gonna, you'll never, you're never gonna win that game because the better you get, there'll be, you'll compare, you'll move up in the people you compare yourself to. So until you get to be Pauline Kale, it'll be like you're never gonna win that game. It will distract you, however from your actual purpose, which is doing the film reviews, because it's going to create a lot of angst. So what you need to do is try to block that stuff out um, and get your work out there. And so work on your confidence, too, OK? Because that's just a general thing that you have. Yeah. That's right.